Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I get to show you our new house. We just moved from Fort Hood to Fort Rucker a few weeks ago and we absolutely love it here and we love our house. When we were looking at housing, I couldn't find many housing tours online so I figured I would just add to that so that if you're moving to Fort Rucker, hopefully this helps you out. We live in Bowdoin Terrace in a three bed, two bath house. All of the houses in this neighborhood are detached single family homes. So no duplexes in this neighborhood, which is amazing. Um, most of them, if not all of them in this neighborhood have fenced in backyards and a single car garage, which might be my favorite feature of the entire house. We've never had a garage before in military housing. So the fact that we have a single car garage is just like, it's amazing to me. And we have storage in the garage as well. I think that's probably all you really need to know. Three bed, two bath. And yeah, very spacious. It's a lot bigger than our house was at Fort Hood. I think this house is around 1,700 square feet. So honestly, we couldn't ask for more. Okay, so we're gonna start at the front door. So when you come in, you have this entryway. You have an entryway closet. It's really messy. Um, like I said, we just moved in here a few weeks ago. So there will be boxes and things around. Just, you know, don't pay attention to that. So we'll go to the left first. So this is where they're, they designed for your dining room table to be, I think. But we didn't put ours here because then we wouldn't have room for the coffee cart and the water and our dog's bowls. So this is what we did with the dining room space. And that is right next to the kitchen. We love this kitchen. It's a little smaller than our previous one, but I think it's laid out better. I'll go over here so you can get a different view. But yeah, we really like this kitchen. That's the door to the garage. We made this little random nook into a shoe storage area and like hung some hooks for bags and things. Um, see it from this view. So yeah, we love the kitchen. If you go through this cutout, we have what we call the bonus room. I don't know what they designed this room to be, but we put our table in here and we put my husband's guitars and the keyboard um, and the bar cart and things like that in here. So we're using it as sort of a game room, music room, bonus room, I guess. Show you from this way. This is technically our dining room table, but I use it mostly for puzzles. So that's why it went in here. And here's our living room. Thankfully our sectional fit. But uh, yeah. And there are doors to the outside. One thing we really like about this house is all the light that comes in. We really like it. So there's the kitchen and the walkway over there with the bonus room and the living room. Okay, so now we're back at the front door. Now we'll go to the bedrooms. So this first door is our guest bathroom. Oops. It's a really good size. Um, shower tub combo and a really big linen closet. We aren't really using it for linens. It's like a random storage closet for us um, because we never use this bathroom and we never really have guests because we've been here for three weeks. So. That's that. If you go down the hallway, to the right is my office because I do work from home. So not much in here, but I really like it. It's really functional. There are big closets in here. So obviously it opens on the other side too, but it goes way back there on both sides. So really good closet space. And here it is from a different angle. Okay. Across the hall is the second guest bedroom, which is my husband's office. Same closet space. Um, 
but a small little window instead of big ones. Right here is our laundry room. We really enjoy having a laundry room. Obviously, it's not very pretty. You know, it's just a laundry room. This is where we keep our cleaning supplies and stuff. We hung up some hooks. But I really enjoy having a physical door for this room because in our last room, or in our last house, I mean, we didn't have a door for the laundry room. So it's nice to just close the door and hide the laundry. Okay, if you go down this hall, it ends in the primary bedroom. And I love our bedroom. It's bigger than our last one. Our last one was a good size, but this one is a lot bigger. This is a king bed for reference. And you have like five feet on either side of the bed, which is really nice. Show it from a different angle. Okay, and then the primary bathroom. We have never had double sinks in our house before, so we are very happy with that. Hello, we have a separate room for the toilet and shower. Again, it's a shower tub combo. Um, and there is a little window in the bathroom. It's really the little things, honestly, because we've never had a window in our bathroom before either. No matter how small it is, I'll take it. Then there's a smaller linen closet, but still plenty big. And a walk-in closet. Okay, there we go. The walk-in closet. This is another favorite of mine too, because in military housing, we've just had really small closets, but I don't know how we got so lucky to get a walk-in closet and double vanity. Okay, so that does it for our house tour. Hopefully that gave you a good idea of what the houses in this neighborhood look like. A lot of this house, the houses in this neighborhood are three or four bedroom. I don't even know if they have two bedroom in this neighborhood. So if you get this neighborhood, you know you're going to have space if nothing else. Like I said, we just moved here a few weeks ago, but we haven't had any problems in this neighborhood. They've come to mow our front and backyard a couple times, which is nice. Um, we haven't had any issues with anything. So, so far we are really happy. Let me know if you have any other questions down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.